There's a heat warning up tonight in parts of Arizona. The mercury in many places is in triple digits. Of course, it's the National Weather Service that tells us what the temperature is, but who tells the Weather Service? Anthony Mason met the weatherman. Across the country, 8,500 volunteer observers record the nation's weather every day. But none has been doing it longer than 101-year-old Richard Hendrickson. Right now, it is exactly 80. For 84 years now, Hendrickson's been monitoring the highs and lows from the thermometer shelter in his backyard in Bridgehampton, New York. Is this pretty much the way it's always been? Oh, yeah. Real simple. Just like that. You're getting to show age a little bit here in the joints. We all do. Like we all get. <laughs> he also checks the rainfall daily and then glances out his dining room window to check the wind. It's clear, there's not a cloud in the sky. Before calling it all in on his rotary phone. Yeah, Bridgehampton. To the National Weather Service. The sky is clear. The wind is out of the southwest. When Hendrickson started recording the weather in 1930, at age 18, Herbert Hoover was president. This is your journal from the 30s. Sure, I remember this thing. I'll be damned. Here, 1933, January, clear and warm. Weather was important to you because you were a farmer. Because I was a livestock farmer. This weekend, the National Weather Service will honor his eight decades as an observer. Am I what? Excited? Oh, yeah, sure. I can hardly talk. <laughs> he does it for his country, Richard Hendrickson says, collecting the statistics that to this 101-year-old farmer are still just the facts of life. Anthony Mason, CBS News. Bridgehampton, New York.